Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Houston Astros. Just about ready to go. And on the hill, the lefty, Frommer Valdez. Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. A sub-350 ERA. And, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub-twos. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes them out. So, you know, good season last year. Opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Popped up. Pena hauls it in for the out. Then there's one down. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Snap to the first. And he's back in safely. You know, Boo, from time to time, players mix up their routine if things aren't going their way. And Rizzo is no exception. And he was in a slump in 2023. Oh, diving stop. Fires to second Out. for one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done. And now it's Juan Soto. And he's already singled in this game. Swing and a miss, strike one. These hitters have come oh out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it off. Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. And that ball is out of here. He's up to three home runs in the series. It's 4-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball. Base is empty with two away. Jose Abreu up to him. Abreu. Now the one. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. Now, now Nice catcher. job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. That's a hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Oh, and there's a ball. I thought this was a fun note on Soto. In 2023, he hit home runs in Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. I don't think it matters where Soto yeah. plays. He's going to hit home runs everywhere he goes. One down, base is empty. Hard hit, left side. They get the out on Soto. Here's Kyle Tucker. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Line drive. And Tucker is retired. And that'll do it. Astros are down quietly. They're down 5-1. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Juan Soto. Here comes a pitch. Fly ball down the line. And it jumps the wall in foul territory for an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Here in the second game of the series. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Now one gone in the ninth. And here the is Anthony Rizzo. The first base is Anthony Rizzo. 
Swing and a miss. It's a ball in two strikes. Soto, the runner at second with one away. Crushed to right. This one's got a chance. Out of here. Home run. That'll fire up the dugout. His second home run of the series. It's 7-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. And a 7-1 finish in this one. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. So just about set now. And on the mound in this one, Christian Javier. Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to... McCormick brings it in for the third out. One left. Back here with my pal Siggy. Our starter in this one, Marcus Stroman. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA, and you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out, and not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two. Now the tag at third, and they got it. Long throw for the third out. So the Astros leave one. We played an inning. No score. Here's Juan Soto. Go for one so far. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Over to Abreu, and that'll do it. And next to him for Houston, Gator Diaz. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And a base hit right there. Juan Soto now. Right here. Right here. Juan Soto. Stock center field. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Tying run at the plate. Ripped to short. Fires to first, and they take care of Stanton for the end. Impressive backhand stop, but he had a little trouble getting rid of it and had to take that extra step, which could have cost him. But good job to make sure he got a good handle on it, and he got off a good, strong throw to still get the out. Ground ball to Brayu. Off balance throw in time. That ends the frame. The Yanks lead one. They're still down. It's two zip. And now it's Juan Soto. One for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. With the go-ahead run at first, you're in game three of this four-game series. And a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Two and two. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And that one is gone. Giancarlo Stanton goes deep. His first homer of the year. It's 5-2.
These fans are dealing with some heartbreak right now. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. And your final score, 5-2. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. So just about set now. And today on the Hill, Hunter Brown. Not the best results a year ago. Looking for better this season, Chris. Yeah, really struggled last year. And it was one of those seasons that you just want to flush. But I think you have to remember and take the opportunity when you do struggle. To now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. That's his fourth home run of the series. And the Yankees have the lead. It's 2-0. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter. Getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Here's Juan Soto. He's already homered in this game. There's no way around it. Soto is one of the most exciting players in baseball. His hitting skills are so advanced, you'd think he played in Major League Baseball in a different life or something. That misses the zone, and the count is 2-0. and oh. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. In the air to left center, McCormick sizing this one up. He's got it. Runner tags from third. He scores! That's a big sacrifice fly. Back even, it's 3-3. Three, three. Well, we got ourselves a new ball game. Nice job right there at the plate. Sacrifice fly, and he gets in the tying run. Set for the bottom of the third, and the batter now, Jordan Alvarez. 3-2. That's a hit. Nice line drive to the hole. And now the right fielder, Juan Soto. He's already homered here in this one. Line drive, base hit. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Pickoff move to first, he's and he's back safely. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Alvarez going back on it, and that one is going to go. He flexes his power with that swing, his second over this series, and they tack on to their lead. It's 7-3. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. Now, guys, the right one. chase that time not giving him a pitch to hit there isn't a bad thing he's dealing with a great first pitch hitter up there high fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center way back there and that ball is gone another homer his second home run of the game and they boost their lead it's 9-4 that's their fourth home run of the game they can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Well, he 
put a really nice swing on that one and everything was on time took a direct path to the ball excellent extension and just drove it out of here nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that now so up next Juan Soto he's got a couple homers already so can he possibly do it again come on man of course he can those two he hit were legit and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dish Ground ball to Brayu. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Two on the board. Well, this is the perfect way to finish up a road trip, a sweep in this series before heading back home. This is a team that's got things rolling, and when you get it rolling on the road, 